Imagine you're at a store. A bat and a ball cost $1.10 in total. The bat costs $1 more than the ball. How much does the ball cost? Got your answer? Hold on to it. All right, let's dive into something that'll explain this quiz and how our brains can sometimes be a little too quick for their own good. It's called the dual process theory, and it's a way to understand how our brains work in two different modes. Let's call them system one and system two. System one is like your brain's autopilot, fast and automatic. Think of it as that impulsive friend who answers before the teacher even finishes the question. It works almost like a reflex. Remember when you slammed the brakes because a dog darted across the street? That's system one doing its thing, quick, unconscious, and requires zero effort. Here's a classic system one moment. In the 1970s, Amos Tversky and Daniel Kahneman, two psychologists, ran a series of studies on how people make snap judgments. They found that we use mental shortcuts or heuristics to make decisions fast. For example, they asked people, what's more likely to cause death, sharks or vending machines? Most people immediately scream, sharks. But in reality, more people die each year from vending machines than from shark attacks. Yup, that snack machine is deadlier than a great white. System one jumps to whatever feels most familiar or dramatic, even if it's wrong. Now let's talk about system two. This one's slower, more deliberate, and actually thinks things through, like the careful friend who reads the entire menu before deciding on a salad. You use system two when you're solving a complex math problem or making life decisions, like planning your next career move. It's logical, but takes its sweet time. Let's test your system two with the cognitive reflection test. Bet you've seen this one before. Remember the bat and ball question? Most people's immediate gut reaction, thanks system one, is to say the ball costs 10 cents. But drum roll, it's actually five cents. If you slow down and think it through, you'll get it. That's system two stepping in to double check system one's overconfident mistakes. But here's where it gets interesting. We don't like using system two much. Why? Because exhausting. It's like your brain running a marathon. This is why after making tough decisions all day, you find yourself binge eating pizza and watching Netflix. It's called decision fatigue. Your system too is so tired, it just throws its hands up and says, fine, let's just watch cat videos for the next two hours. Ever wonder why judges are more likely to grant parole in the morning but reject it later in the day? Studies found that after a long day of making decisions, our system too gets tired and we start falling back on quick, snap judgments, even in life-changing decisions like court rulings. So if you're ever in court, aim for that morning slot. Psychologist Roy Baumeister proved this with an experiment. He found that after making a bunch of hard decisions, people were more likely to make poor choices later. That's why you're more likely to eat junk food or skip the gym after a long day of adulting. Your brain flips back to system one because system two is just done. Think of system one as your your default mode, handling the basics like driving, shopping, or surviving a vending machine encounter. But when you face something more complex like buying a new car or moving to a new city, system two steps in, making you weigh pros and cons, think long-term, and analyze every tiny detail. It's like switching from cruise control to manual driving. Now, here's why this matters. System one is super efficient, but it can lead to snap judgments and biases, like jumping to conclusions about sharks and vending machines. System two, while more accurate, is slow and effortful, so it's not practical for every decision. But plot twist, sometimes system one can make us too confident. We think we've got the right answer because it came fast, but in reality, we might be way off. That's why knowing when to pause and let system two take over is crucial. To wrap it up, the dual process theory shows us that we're constantly shifting between fast, intuitive thinking and slow, analytical thinking. Most of the time, we coast through life on system one, but when the stakes are high, system two is there to help us think deeper, analyze smarter, and maybe avoid becoming another vending machine statistic.